Hello everyone outside there that is following us on BTN TV. Yeah, it is our, it is our pleasure that uh, you do follow our programs and recognize your presence. Those who really take their time and view our programs. Yes, as usual, my name is Tika Fred from Wisdom Center, Kasela District. That is Kalumna. A teacher handling mathematics for those who have been following the program. And for those who have not been following the program, maybe those who study today. I'm the director of studies at the same school, Wisdom Center School. Well, thank you. Uh, let's, let's, let's look at today's lesson. I want us to kick off with today's lesson. And we'll see what does it demand us to do. We are still dealing with the integers, and the lesson today will be dividing the integers using a number line. I want us to see how can we divide integers using a number line. And when we talk about integers, for those who have been following us, I hope for as per now, you know what it means by integers. We simply said, Integers, those are numbers containing negatives and the positive signs. But at this same round, I want us to see how can we divide our integers. For example, the first number, they have said, work out the following using a number line. The first one, we have positive 15 divided by Three. So I want us to look at that. I want us to look at positive 15 divided by 3. What shall we come out with? That is what we are looking at mostly. And remember, I say that any number without a positive sign or negative sign, it means it is a positive. So if I say divide by 3, it's the same as saying divide by positive 3. And when you are dealing with division of integers, always when you have a positive number divided by a positive number, the result must be positive. That is what is required to be understood before we continue with our number. When you have a positive integer divided by a the outcome must be positive. So let's look at this. They said we use a number line. We use a number line to work out that. So let's draw our number line first of all. We shall begin with our number line because they said we divide the rays using a number line. We are going to use a number line and since we are dealing with the positives, we don't have negatives. We are going to start with the positives or else I can start from negative one, then I say zero. Excuse me. I'm now plotting my integers on a number line. So that is what we call a number line. From there we shall say from here this is one positive, positive two, uh, positive three, positive four, positive 6, positive 8 here, positive 10 here, positive 12 here, positive 14 here, positive 16, positive 18. So I want us to look at this. 
from zero we shall come to one here i've not written one here just to create a space i don't want to squeeze my work so much so this is one this is two this is three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen that is how my number line is arranged. Well, what are we looking at? We want to see how can we divide 50, positive 15 by positive 3. That's what we are looking at. In simple terms, what are we going to do? We want to determine the number of groups which can be obtained, the number of groups of three that can be determined or obtained from 15. By doing so, we are going to do this. We are going to make of three, 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 three until we reach, or we are going to make intervals of three, three until we reach the given number. So I will start from zero, I count three, and I make the first movement, meaning that from here, I will say from here to here, one, two, three. The first movement will start from zero up to positive three. That will be my first interval or the first group of three. Remember, we need to move until we reach 18. When we make the first group of three, we have reached three. We have not reached 18. So I want to count another group of threes. I make another group of three. So I will say, from here up to here, one, two, three. Meaning that from here I'll move another group of three or another interval of three up to here. I've now made two intervals. The first interval brought me up to three. The second interval has brought me up to six. Then I need to make another interval because we have exactly where we wanted us to reach. So from here I'll start at six and I count more three. I'll say one, two, three. From here, one, two, three. Then I'll make another interval from six to nine. That is the, the third interval. What do we need? Do we need nine according to the question? No. The question demands us to move until we reach 15. So if we are to reach 15 but we are already on nine, then we need to add more three. I have to add my more three. So from nine, I'm going to add my three steps ahead. That will be from nine, I will say one, two, three, meaning that I'll come up to 12. So from nine, I'll move up to 12. That is another interval. The number of intervals obtained from 15 will be the answer. So from there I will say, I have already moved the four intervals, but we have not reached the number which is required. So what will happen? I will have to continue until I reach the required number. And what is our required number in this case? The required number is 15, post 15. So let's add more three from here. I will say from 12, I will say one, two, three. So, meaning that from 12, again, I'll move on up to 12, uh, up to 15. Then I'll say that is where they required us to end. I've moved the first interval up to 3. The second interval brought me up to 6. The third interval brought me up to 9. The fourth one brought me up to 12. Then, the fifth one brought me up to 15. And what is required 
is past 15 where I've already reached. So I will stop there. Then I'll come down and say past 15 divided by positive 3 will give us let's come and count the number of intervals I want us to count the number of intervals obtained from 15 I'll say this is 1 2 3 4 5 so there are 5 intervals obtained from 15 meaning that positive divided by positive the answer must be positive so we shall say we have obtained there five uh, steps i mean so five intervals simply represents the answer so when you have 15 divided by three it will give us five that's why you have seen there five intervals five intervals were obtained from where meaning that if i have positive 15 Divide by make a positive 3, my results will be from where I will have to draw to get my ra and underline my answer. I will have to underline my answer. After underlining my answer, using what we have done, I want you to drive uh, to try this number B. It's just the same like A. I want you to try the, this positive five using a number line. Try that example two using a number line, and I will see what we have to do. When you look at that number B, they also want us to use the number line to divide. 10 by 5 using a number line. First try that and I see in one minute time you must be through. In one minute time you must be through. I hope you are almost done with it. You must be summarizing now. Must be summarizing. Must be summarizing. Must be summarizing. Must be summarizing. Well. Yes, I think you have now done it. Let's now work it out together and we see what we have to do. They said we use a number line. So the first step I will need to do is to draw my number line. After drawing my number line, I'll look at the number. We have a first meaning that there is no much need for negative. So I can as well stay. Here I have zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can extend it this side a little bit. I can extend it here. Then I consider this as one. I can extend it there. I hope you are now done. You have drawn yours. You must have drawn a number line. I believe you must have even plotted your integers. You must have plotted your integers. You must have plotted your integers. As I'm also trying to plot mine. We are just following yours to find out if yours is correct or not. So this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
10. So I hope everyone is having that. Or you might have grown yours up to 20, up to 30, no problem. It is not a mass that it has to stop at 10. It can go beyond 10. It can go beyond 10. So let me look at the number together with you. These are positives. These are positive integers. These are positive integers. From there, when you look at the number, they said we divide the positive 10 with the positive 5. What does it mean? It means we are going to make intervals of 5, 5, 5 until we reach 10. So I'll come here from 0. I'll count 5 and I make the first interval. I will say from here, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if this is 5, I'll make one interval here. That will be the first interval. We are making intervals of 5. Intervals of 5. But in, in how many? In 10. How many intervals of 5 can be obtained from 10? This is the first one. When we reach here, we have not reached 10. So we need more, another interval of 5. So another interval of 5, I will say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So from there, I will say, this is the second interval. This is the second interval. So many in intervals, when you check there, we have now reached 10, positive 10, and to positive 10. So after reaching there, let's consider this. We ask ourselves, how many intervals of 5 are you now able to see in front here? That have been obtained from 5. How many intervals? The first interval comes from there up to here, from there up to there. That's another interval. How many intervals are you seeing? The number of intervals determines the answer of the integers. So I'll come here and say, therefore, positive 10 divided by positive 10 divided by positive 5 will give us how many intervals are you counting? This is the first interval. This is the second interval. The number of intervals determines the answer. So how many intervals do we have here? One, two. So I will say one, two. They are two intervals. And now, the answer since we are dividing a positive with a positive, I said a positive divided by a positive will always give us a positive answer. So since a positive is dividing with a positive, we shall say the answer will be positive. Two. Positive 2. If I've got the same answer with my answer, get your pen and I give it a tick. Give yourself a tick and if possible, give yourself a high five. As you, are under, as you underline it, as we underline that, that is excellent. If you have followed all the steps, you have answered it the way it is. Give yourself a high five and an excellent. Let's look at another number that is C now. C, when we look at C, they have given us negative 18 divided by positive 6. Negative 18 divided by positive 6. Uh -huh. Here we are dealing with only rich people here. The ones who have their things. Now here we are coming to a, another category of people. Whereby some are demanded. That's where we are, most of us. Okay? You realize that at least, as we are, at least 
there is there is something they demand from life. I mean in your life. But you know, these people here they no longer demand them. They just demand what they have. Eh? They have. Somebody has five cars with the five children. I mean ten cars with the five children. He decides eh, to give out to his children. So you know that every child will take two, two, two. Eh? Now let's come now to us, our class. When we come to class, yes, you are not number ten, eighteen 18 million. Then out of that 18 million, after maybe, let's say, by Mrs. Fortune, someone disappears, whom they demand 10, 18 million, but the car needs that money. And this person who has disappeared, he has six relatives in the family. Now, what do you do? We shall have to share date. He borrowed alone. He ate alone. 18 millions. That's why he had negative 18. Since he, was, he ate it and is your relative, or your friend, you are the one who to pay. But you will not pay alone. We are six people. So if there are six people, then they have to share. This one, me, I will pay this. This one, me, I will pay this. But for this case, you have to pay equally. We are going to pay equally. <laughs> I sympathize with this. We need to eat it, but we are going to pay equally. You will pay what you need to eat. Negative 18. Divide by six people. Eh? Let's bring this in this manner. Somebody buys a company, or let me say, your father has a company. If your father has a company, he goes in the bank, he borrows 18 million. Remember, your father has produced six children in the family. But he has gone to borrow 18 million. After borrowing 18 million, it happens from nowhere. You hear that your father is not now in the country. So you see, you realize your parent took 18 million from the bank. He didn't pay. From there, he goes to another country. You are six people at home. You are the people to pay that money. It is what they are looking at. So if you share the debt of your father, the money that he got from the bank, you think it will be positive or it will be very negative. You will share the, uh, the, the negative. If you share the negative, it means everyone will take negative. Because if your father borrowed 18 million, and you are six people, then you agree that you are going to pay. The bank will be now demanding you, everyone will be now demanded. That. Everyone, if they demand everyone, it means every person will have negative, 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 right? It will be six, uh, it will be among the six people. You, are, they have, you have shared 18 million, but it is not real money. You are sharing the money that your parent borrowed in the bank some time back. And then you pay. Now here it comes. It's not around. You have to share and pay for him. He's your father. You have to pay for him. So if you have to pay for him, you will say, ah, there are 18 millions. We are six people. How much will every person pay? Okay. Uh, if it happens that every person is to pay three millions, then you say, uh huh, James, you will pay three millions. Uh huh, Joseph, you will pay also three millions. Sarah, you will pay three millions. Uh, Adam, you will pay three millions. One, you will pay three millions. One, please, you will pay five millions. Well, well, look at that. So, uh, this is what I'm trying to mean. If you have a negative, you divide by positive you must come up with negative. You are having a negative dividing by positive because people are there. Positive people are there. What you are dividing, they have your father, 
Because he ate that man your own time ago. And you are the one to pay. So if you are the one to pay, it means that man is not there. That's why it is a negative. So if it is a negative, you say a negative divided by a positive, it will give us a negative. You will share the negative. Eh? You will say, I will pay three millions or two millions or one million. If you will pay, then that is a negative. They demand you. Right? So let's look at it and we see what to do. We have to have now our number line. First of all, because they instructed us to use a number line to work everything out. So my number line will be here. So since we know that the answer is going to be negative, we are now going to have only negative integers. We shall have only negative integers. I will have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? We have over squeezed our number line. It is too squeezed at the first here. It is too squeezed at first here. So, let's redraw it. We need to have clean I'll have to redraw my number line here. So we'll say zero negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, negative 13, 12, negative 13, negative 14, negative 15, negative 16, negative 17, negative 18, negative 18. So I want us to look at this. We are going to make integrals of 66 coming to the side of the negative intervals of 66. So from 0 I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then from there I will say this is the first interval. That is the first. We have not reached 16. I will continue until I reach 16. So I will say again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Then I will say this is again the second interval. We are making intervals of 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. From there I will continue. I will say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will say this is another interval. If that is another interval, then I will ask myself how many intervals are we having? You realize that when you count well, the intervals are only three. The intervals are only three. The intervals are only three. 
And when you come to the three intervals, where have you reached? Because they say a negative 18 divided by 6, meaning that we are supposed to move groups or intervals of 66 until we reach 18, whereby we have already reached our 18. So the number of intervals which are indicated indicates the answer. So I'll come in and say, there are four negative 18 divided by negative 18 divided by positive 6 will give us remember we said a negative divided by a positive the answer will be a negative so if it will be a negative then we shall have negative 3 it will be negative 3 it will be negative 3 it will be negative then from there after accessing negative 3 after accessing negative 3 you have to underline that number you have to underline your answer you will come and underline your answer after underlining shall call it a day I don't think if there is any one with any case we don't have any question already what we have done. Let me first give you a trial number again relating to what we have done. You also try using a number line as well. Using a number line using a number line work out work out using a number line work out positive work out negative 20 divided by positive 5. Negative 20 divided by positive 5. I want you to divide that using a number line. I want to work out negative negative 5 negative 5 negative 5 I mean negative 20 divide by positive 5 divide by positive 5 work that one out very fast and uh, we continue to another number As you have to put in your minds that uh, uh, division is like repeated uh, subtraction, while multiplication is added, uh, repeated addition. Division, repeated subtraction, then division is repeated subtraction. And multiplication is repeated addition. I hope you are almost summarizing. I hope you are most summarizing. Must be almost at the end. Summarize with yours at the same time.
zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. These are negative integers. So let us look at that. Let us look at that. Remember, between 0 and 2, we have 1. Here we have 3. Here we have 5. Here we have 7. Here we have 9. We have 11 here. We have uh, 13 there. We have 15 here. We have uh, 17 there. We have 19. We have 20 and 21 as well. So I want us to look at the question what it wants. First of all, we shall not forget this rule which says negative divided by positive will always give us negative. That is the rule that has forced me to have only negatives here because there is nowhere where positive integer will apply. What is going to determine there? It is the first number here. 20. So we are going to look at this. Just like I've said that division is the added, I mean uh, division is the repeated subtraction. I can as well begin from 20 and I keep removing five groups. Because I'm dividing it until I reach zero. Or else I can also start from zero coming to 20. So for this case, let's start from 20 and we see. The 20 divided by 5. So I'll, make, I'll be subtracting 5 steps. I'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll say this is the first interval. But I want to go up to 0. I also stand here and say I've not reached 0. So 1, 2, 3, Four, five. I will say this is another interval. We are keeping on subtracting intervals. We are dividing by five. Remember, if we are dividing by five, this one will get one, two, three, four, five. You give five people one, 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 one. This is the first round. That first round of giving one, 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 one is what I'm calling intervals. Then after, still you still have more. Then when you have more again, you have to give one, 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 one. That is the second shift or the second round, giving everyone one, 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 one. But still you have, we are remaining with the ten. Again, we shall have to give five out. One, two, three, four, five. This is another interval. We have given to five people again. Then still from there, we still have more. We need to give out more five. Then we shall say, one, three, four, five. Then we say, give me five. Meaning that from 20, we gave out five. Again, we remained with the 15. Again, we had to give out five. We remained with the 10. We gave out five. We remained with five. Then finally, we gave out more five. And we remained with nothing. So, 20 divided by positive five, it will give us how many intervals are here. I will say this is the first interval. Then I will say this is the second interval. I will say this is the third interval. I will say this is the fourth interval. Then I will say, therefore, negative 20 divided by positive 5 will give us negative Remember, a negative divided by a positive, you get a negative. So it will give us negative 4. And where are we getting 4 from? We are getting 4 from this. 1, 2, 3, 4. They are 4 intervals. That's why we are coming out with negative 4. Then after coming out with your negative 4, we shall have to come and underline this answer. You shall have to underline it. That is, if you have worked it out like this and you have got it right, put a tick. 
and you give yourself a warm hand clap because it is an excellent answer if you followed all the steps. Well, let's proceed to the next example and we look at it. What does it want us to do? The next one wants us to look at this also. That is B. Using this, this was A, this was A, then B, B, I want you to work out this, positive 16 divided by positive 4. Work out that one as well, try it out, try that one out. Still using a number line, positive 16 divided by positive 4, using a number line. Positive 16 divided by positive 4 using a number line. Try to hurry up. Try to hurry up, try to hurry up. Try, try to hurry up. Alright, so I think you are now done with it. I can now work out it together with you. So, let's look at the number together. For those who have not yet cleared everything. So, we have, when you look at this number here, we have a positive integer divided by a positive integer, which will give us a positive integer. Right? Positive, positive we shall go with the positive. Then let's have our number line. Let's have our number line here. Remember if everything is giving us positive, positive, then I'm just going to consider positive sides only. look at this, we are now considering only positive integers. Positive integers. All these are positives. Remember, n number without a positive sign or negative sign is a, a positive number. n number without a sign is a positive number. So here when you look at this, we have the positive 16 divided by 4. Let us look at that. How can we divide this 10 positive by 4? Just like I've said it earlier that uh, division is repeated subtraction. So I want us to start from 16 and we divide the number. But if we have 
16 as a person that we are sharing with for we shall begin with the 16 here then we see what to do this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so if we are dividing by 16 by 4 i'll first begin with this i say 1 2 3 I will first give, if I have 16 mangoes and I'm giving four people, 16 mangoes I'm giving four people, I will first give every person one, 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 one. That is four. That's the first interval. Then I will again remain with the 12. I will give again one, 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 one. To how many people? Three, four. This is another interval. Every person has got now again one, one. Then I will continue. Still I have more. I will say I will divide again with it. 1, 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 people. This will be now the second interval. Then I will say 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4. So this one is another interval. So it's just a matter of a repeated subtraction. From 16, I removed to 12. From 12, I gave them again 1, 1, 2, 8. From 8, I gave out 1, 1, 2, 4. From 4, I gave out 1, 1, 2, 0. So, I will come here and say, there are 4, positive 16, divided by positive 4. Positive 16, divided by positive 4, will give us positive 4. Then from there, I'll have to underline. So, that's what is supposed to be done. Finally, you can now try C as well. Yes, so I want you to have just some six minutes and you try out that. After there, we continue. I want you. So from there, I want us to summarize. I want us to summarize with that. I want us to summarize with that. I want, us to, I want us to summarize with that. This will be your activity that you will do as well. I uh, shall so add there positive 18 divided by negative 2. Well, so I believe you will be also working out this. Time is up. Let's summarize up with this. And for those who have been following us, maybe if you switched on a little bit late and you feel like you need to access this lesson, simply subscribe BTN TV Rwanda. Check on their YouTube channels, check on Facebook, Twitter accounts, and Instagram. Everything will be there. Meanwhile, you will also take this as your activity for today using a number line and you work out all these numbers however i advise you always to be following the program for your own advantage right away from p4 up to p6 these integers cut across step less as we summarize the lesson i wish you well